What's going on today? This is New Era Gardener. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's checking in on their worms, making sure everything's nice and healthy. Good moisture, no bug issues. If you like the content that I'm putting out, give a give a thumbs up, give a like. Um, even subscribe to the video so that this way you guys can get the content that I'm putting out when I put it out. Sometimes it's an update to a bin that we actually had. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the new bins that I actually use, new bedding. Um, and just take a look at this particular bin. It's got good moisture. Um, look at how this bin still has quite a bit of paper on top. But look at the worms. They're they're happy. They're they're being fed constantly. Good moisture. It's breaking down very well. And this these bins, these two bins that we're actually going to look at, these two bins are the bins with the new bedding which is the alpaca manure. All I did was shred it so that we can use it in here. I didn't use it as a whole bean, um, so I just did it as a shred, just as if I was doing the coconut core. I thought that would be best. So uh, they're, they're happy in here, good moisture. The bugs have kind of gnats or whatever you want to call them flies they actually have calmed down they're not that bad in here anymore so that's a big help but you can see the worms they're happy and it is starting to break down so this bin i think is probably only a month old about now so it still has a long way to go but this particular bin does not have as many worms in it as the other bin. So you're gonna see, and just take a look, there's still a lot of paper in this particular one. These two bins were done at the same time, nothing different, same amount of minerals put in it, same amount of, of coconut core and the uh, alpaca manure. So we're gonna look at the next bin. And we're going to see the difference between those two bins and see how that came out. But this bin is doing very, very well. I'm happy with using the um, alpaca manure as my new bedding. Still will add the newspaper. Still will add about a half of a brick of coconut core, which is about a half a pound. A brick is usually about a pound. I'll still use a half. That'll also give it some structure and hold some moisture also. So let's look at the next bin. All right, let's look at this one. Right off the bat, can you tell the difference from one bin to the other? And uh, my time frame was a little off. This bin was uh, done on 7-1. So both bins were started on 7-1, but look at the difference between the bins. And, and I know I talked about this before. Uh, sometimes the biology that's in your bin also speeds up the uh, decomposition in it. Also, the amount of worms that you have in it will definitely change how your bins are um, turning over quicker. This bin, just looking at it, it's got a nice sheen on it. So I know the moisture is good on this particular bin. It does have some fly activity in here. So... But just let's, just from turning one hand over, you could tell the difference in the amount of worms that are in this particular bin compared to the bin that uh, we just actually turned over and looked at their bedding. So it has a lot of newspaper in the first bin. This bin, there's no newspaper. Nice looking castings. Worms, good moisture.
just every hand turnover there's worms so in the corner they like the worms they like the corners I don't know what it is about the corners of the of the bins but they seem to always like the corners so this is perfect full of worms as you can see just turn over turn over turn over worms and that's the difference between the first bin I showed you guys and the second and just I mean I don't know if the camera picks it up but just look at look the, look at the castings that's beautiful look at the castings a lot of worms in here so they're they're making quick work of the uh, manure and for one I'm definitely going to let the bins go three months just like I do with all my other bins 90 days once the other bin and all the other bins actually have similar amount of uh, population of worms that's that's what you want so I mean there's a lot of worms in there a lot of fat nice juicy worms you know Greg Wigglers aren't juicy fat like you would get earthworms or African night crawlers they're a much smaller worm um, these guys look good they're happy I can see them smiling that uh, they like their bedding so that's the difference and sometimes like I said just the difference is, is the amount of worms you have in there that they uh, make quick work of whatever your bedding is so that's just a quick check of those two bins um, I think this is our third time checking in on the bin this bin looks good I'm happy with it so that's it for today this is New Era Gardener NEG and this is the uh, look into the new bedding that we're, we used all right thank you enjoy the rest of your day nice